Hey everyone, it's Amadra, and today I wanted to share some little things that I got um, to try something for the holidays. Um, I do get gifts from people, and I get gifts from family and stuff, and friends, and crafty friends, and um, friends here on YouTube, and I was thinking of something different um, that I can send as a little gift, you know, for their home and stuff, uh, because, you know, they might have all the crafts in the world, and, you know, uh, might have all the crafty stuff that they need. Uh, so I wanted to send something because I did get several gifts last year that I felt were very heartwarming. They were very um, geared towards the home, and um, and I really loved it. I got um, let me turn this light off. I got some things from um, Elise and from P. Like they were fragrant and you know um, sprays for your home. And Elise sent me this magnificent smelling little package of stuff. And I just wanted to do something, um, something like that. And, um, but not only that, um, I know that some people would use them. Um, I wanted to make, I originally, last year I was actually going to try to make peppermint body scrub. But then I'm like, not everybody's going to use it, you know, you're just going to make something. And this way, if anything, they can just re-gift it, you know, just re-gift it. Um, but I wanted to ask for, um tips or any any information that you guys might have because you guys may be more knowledgeable than me at this situation because I've never made these specifically um I have made I have made soaps I have made um candles in the past um I make I love making soapsicles and if you guys haven't seen those it's basically soaps shaped like popsicles and I've done like the Neapolitan one watermelon um several several different cool things and you of course I order um, um, uh, fragrance oils or organic oils and stuff. I order oils because those are more natural and I use the shea, um, the shea and the soap, the glycerin, depending on what you're going to make. Um, and if I find pictures, I'll stick them in here of, um, or at the end of the video of like some of the soaps that I've made in the past. And I took, you know, and I have different molds. I have boxes and boxes of molds. My family even knows like if they're at um, a store or something and they see like something that I like in a silicone mold. I only use silicone molds. That's another way. I use food grade silicone molds. Um, at least I try to because the plastic molds, they're so hard to work with. I don't make the big bars and then you cut them up. I don't. I make shapes. I like making the shapes because they're, they're fun that way. I've made candles. I've made candles in the past. Um, so and um, and if you guys want to know, I order most of my stuff um, online. I It's not economic to go to Michael's to or Hobby Lobby, really, to get if you're going to make a lot. I mean, if you're going to make a few for your home, I mean, hey, that's awesome. Um, I've tried some of the waxes at Hobby Lobby, and um, they're, they're, they're artificial, so they, they have a a rubber smell and I and never I didn't like that one I haven't tried all of them so that was just one of them but nevertheless I do order um, I order from a place for my soap supplies I order from wholesale supplies plus I will put a link to their store here in the description I totally forgot but I order like the big boxes of 25 pounds when I make when I order soap I order the big box of 25 pounds because you get free shipping on that. So you, I, I use it a lot. I used to do craft, fa craft fairs, so um, those would sell a lot, all kinds of soaps. I like making the little regular round soaps. I have Lego molds, um, so the little like you make the Lego first of the soap and then you put it in the clear mold. So kids, I mean, everybody would tell me that their kids just absolutely love love it, washing their hands. I'm like, okay, they do know it's not a toy in there. They're like, but yeah, they want to get to the toy, so they actually wash their hands. So, you know, I like to make it fun. I have lots of nieces and nephews, and I give them stuff like that. I make them also for um, birthday parties and stuff like that. I do I do take custom orders and stuff. Um, I also like making um, organic uh, loofah soap scrubs um which i think it's funny because it's the round ones that look like uh, when they're sliced in in slices they look like cuc oh, dried cucumbers but what's funny is that here in a lot of the spas they use those as upscale loofahs and stuff like that and in mexico it's called an estropajo which is like what they would call a poor man's sponge because it's actually a gourd so people grow that because my grandfather used to grow them in, the, in, in our in our ranch um and they're super awesome because they're very moist. Um, they're very, you know, fibrous and stuff, and they're good for um, your heels. So I make the soaps, or, you know, the round ones. And if I find those, I will put these here at the end of the video as well. Um, so it's like you slice the 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 sponge, and it's in a circle, and then you and then you put it in a container, and you pour the soap in it, so it, it soap gets into all the little crevices and the nooks and crannies, and you use it. It's really good on your heels, like seriously, like. I, uh, eucalyptus one on your heels because it's really good in the shower and stuff it cleanses and everything so I've made those and I've babbled on I I'm just sitting here babbling on what I've made not what I'm going to make so um, I did order two things um, and 
as much as I would love to sometimes um, shop at local shops and stuff, they don't. I live in Vegas, you guys. Let me tell you. I I am really surprised that like two years ago we got a st one of the stores finally started selling um, chalk paint, any selling chalk paint. We don't have um, the supplies. We have like two big shops. Um, so if you want to, you know, get like you know very you know fine big things, it's 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 like no, just order it, just buy it. Um, we don't have like it's not like in California or in New York or whatever where there's the warehouses. You can go downtown. You can go to the industrial district. You can go to Floral Garment. You know the Floral District or the Garment District. It's not like that. Now people think Vegas is you know it's literally nothing. They they have nothing in the city. Like it's it. I'm sorry. It is. Um, there's places that everybody goes to buy supplies for stuff. It's Michaels, Joanne's, Hobby Lobby, and that's great. But not for the amount I make. I want to make. Is it economic? So that's why I order a lot of stuff online. Um, if I lived in the Midwest and some other places where I can go get natural, you know, organic, cuddled bees beeswax or something, you know, that were read poems in the evenings and you know sonnets in the mornings or whatever, that would be great. But I have to order all of my organic stuff or everything online, you know. Um, so. Uh, I know that sounded like a rant, but I just want to say it because I did order it from, I ordered these, these specific supplies from Amazon.com, uh, because we have prime membership. So it helps in the aspect that a lot of the things, not everything is always cheaper, but some of the things are cheaper and I get free shipping. But if I need to buy like a massive, like I said, like the soaps I buy from wholesale supplies, I buy, um, and I also hold, um, wholesale supplies plus. Um, and I also buy fragrances there and oils and stuff because they have a really good selection. And the cool thing is they have a rewards program where when you buy a certain amount, you get a certain amount to spend on something. So they give you a category so you can buy fragrances and stuff like that. And you can try stuff that, and every, every time I've done it and I've bought like the little fragrances and it's not, it's actually a full nice size. Um, they're in cases in the boxes over there, so I'm not even going to dig them out. But I've liked every single one I bought, but they have really delicious ones. It's, uh, and I say delicious because I, I like fruit scents because in mexico we make paletas popsicles out of fruit and they just i love the way it smells and they sell very well i digress but what i want to make and i ordered this big old honking thing um i doubt i'll use it all but i have friends and family that i can i'm going to make these for and ourselves i know so i love fragrances oh these are these are i should probably tell you what they are these are the um wax melt containers um, these are the ones from like a Scentsy. They, they, you know, they look like the ones from Scentsy or other companies now, um, where, you know, you make, they have wax and it's fragrant and, you know, you pop them up and, you know, you put them in your, in your melters, uh, wax melters. We actually have like three and one in each bathroom of the Scentsy ones. Um, and I love the fragrances. I really do. I do like them, but I wanted to have to try something different. I wanted to make my own mixture and I want to make a special one for the holidays. So, and if I like it and if it's easy and if it's fun, you know, hey, I can do it every holiday, do something different. Um, but this is where I'm, I'm, I'm a novice at this. I've made candles, I've made soaps, but I'm novice at this. And I know basically you do the same as, um, as candles. But if anybody has um, of a place that maybe I haven't heard of for fragrances, um, because I'm looking for fall or winter fragrances, I would really like that. So, and if any of you guys have any tips, please let me know. I use use I do use I do use the melt and pour waxes um, because it's just easier. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna sit there and 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 a vat and churn for hours, you know. Um, I ordered, I honestly don't remember how much I ordered, but as you, if you guys have ever made, um, candles, this is not going to make a lot, okay? Um, if you guys n know, it melts down quite a bit. Now, this is, um, I did, um, what is this again? <laughs> I totally forgot what I ordered. I ordered, um, this one is, um, um, soy wax, that's what it is. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Um, it's natural soy wax. So I do try to get natural things and I do try to get when I make the soaps because people put their hands on them. You know, you want to make it to the point that you don't know if people have allergies or if they're really sensitive. So I make them as, as, as simple as possible. So this is natural soy. And the reason I like to use soy wax in candles is because you get depending on what you put it in or whatever sometimes you do get smoke but that's because it burns along whatever you know 
container or whatever, there's a flame. There's a flame. FYI, people, if there's a flame, it's going to burn something. So, um, someone told me, well, this thing is not smokeless. I'm like, it's in a, like, anyway. Um, so yeah, so I wanted to, um, try this. So I got a lot of this. And like I said, I did get quite a good deal on Amazon, um, because it melts down quite a bit, you guys. It melts down a lot. Um, and also, I, I, you have to be careful, like, when you make soaps and stuff like that, if you add stuff with vanilla, you have to add vanilla, add it to, um, a vanilla, um, what's it called? I forgot, but there's a thing that you, like, if you make candles and you use a scents that have, because there's a thing, a lot of the, if they're not, like, pure oils, just of, like, one fragrance, they're usually a combination of, like, vanilla and caramel and this and this and that, um, and if it has vanilla, depending on the, on the percentage of vanilla, in your candles or in your soaps, it'll turn your wax brown. So you have to add a vanilla. I have all this stuff and I just I just haven't made it and I haven't used it in a while. It's a vanilla, um, look it up, I don't know. <laughs> I totally forgot, it's a vanilla. Um, I forgot, but, um, and it'll tell you in, in good websites like at, um, at a wholesale supplies plus they will tell you like what their vanilla concentrate is and how you would, you know, how much of the vanilla counteractive you will need to do you need to use because vanilla is a good fragrance but it turns stuff brown all of the other oils and fragrances do not but vanilla for some reason turns everything brown but i think it's because it's a, from a bean you know and it's dark so just a heads up with that if you guys do go into try to make some candles and you want to give them away to gifts and they're brown it's it's really has to do with your vanilla content so anyway so these are the things so if you guys have any tips any any ideas and there's maybe like i said i also buy oils from bulk apothecary and i forgot another one. Oh, and the main reason why i want to do this by the way this was originally thought of as a gift for nathan um he, we have artificial trees uh real big we like big pine trees big trees for christmas um like a big tree in christmas for christmas the size that we like it's 200 dollars um, and of course they die. Um, it's $200. So we, all, we, a few years back, we decided to get an artificial tree, but we always have pine fragrances burning in the, in the winter f to give it that feel. And I found a place online that has blue spruce, um, wax melt, but I'm like, they're just wax melts. I could have made them, you know, sure. It was probably cheaper to find them and whatever but if i'm going to make several of them and share them that's 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 where i wanted to do and then we're gonna i'm gonna make a cute little um label on my cameo and stuff like that cute little label label um for them and then i'm gonna make because i you know make them into stickers and just and hear them on there and send them out as gifts but um the scents i'm looking for if there's somebody that I don't know, or maybe you guys have a place locally that has these oils or these um, essential fragrances or whatever. Um, I'm looking for uh, a blue spruce, like it has, not just pine, blue pine. No, that's not because he grew up um, in the Olympic National Forest in the summers and in the winters when he visited his family. His grandfather was a park ranger out there. Um, and that was like a big thing. They always had blue spruce. And the funny thing is, we did too when we were kids, but we got them from Oregon. Uh, my family in Arizona runs um, some run some of the Christmas tree lots. So we would get our pick. I mean, I mean, these were luscious. So as little kids, we would get our pick. And, we would, and the blue spruces are not grown everywhere. And they have a specific smell. They're delicious. Um, so anyway... But I'm looking for something like that. But I'm also, um, if you guys have any good ideas for a combination, I would like to do a combination fragrance. I want to do, um, I want to do a, a floral Christmas. I know that sounds crazy. And I realized in the video, I'm going on 13 minutes, I babbled on, um, a floral Christmas. So at this point, I'm actually thinking of doing a combination of juniper and jasmine. It just sounds nice, right? It just sounds like the beginning of spring and the, and the end of winter or the beginning of uh, winter with the end of spring or something or whatever. So yeah, so I'm thinking of doing a juniper um, and jasmine combination because you can't do rose with pine or, you know, spruce or whatever. You just can't. There's just some things that you can't. I don't want, you know, full on pumpkin and I don't want it to smell like the same stuff that they put in pumpkin pie, you know? Uh, so I wanted to try that and so I can send them out for a few friends. Now, the other thing I'm going to do, and this is just before I forget, um, you guys may have seen there was a picture on Instagram where I posted and it, and it had all of these little mini jars. These were candles burning. And it was like 20 of them I think I got or, yeah, three, nine, I don't know, 18 I think. Um, 
these are from um bath and body works i went one day because i i i have these in my craft room actually i burn these but they their scent is really nothing because they're so tiny and they use the same combination as the big candles i just pour into this there isn't really much fragrance so i'm like you know what i'm gonna burn them out and make them for myself make whatever candle then i'm like wait a minute i can do them as gifts so i went back there one day and they had they were like um on sale for like three for six dollars and i get to the register and he's like hey you're like 35 dollars or 32 dollars if you get more there's a coupon on whatever the heck that was for 10 dollars off of 40 so boom i got a bunch i decided to burn them all i decided to burn them all um at the same time and um I burned them for like five, ten minutes. Then I poured out the wax, and this was all of them at the same time. You know, continue to burn them for five or ten minutes, melt the wax, and then I, I took them out. I washed them. Um, I took off the label. Some of them still have a, a little bit of fragrance. I smell. Um, I took off the label. I'm gonna have to probably leave them open when I when I do because I when I was done, I just closed them up. Um, yeah, they do. Some of them do have. I ironically, they smell more now than when they had the wax in it. Weird. Um. So yeah, and then you guys know how obsessed I am with mason jars. So and these were teeny tiny mason jars. I looked for them online and I couldn't find them specifically to look like this, to look like an actual mason jar. I don't like it when you go to some places and like, like it's it's like this. That's not a mason jar. That's an ink pot. I'm sorry. You know who made those, but that's an ink pot. It's cute. Don't get me wrong. It's cute. But that's an ink pot. Um, I have tons of mason jars everywhere uh i have this one this one is from i have taking this thing off this one is from um cost plus world market you know it's okay but i wanted these look like little jam jars so i'm going to make um i'm probably gonna maybe i'll use the same fragrance i don't know but i'm going to make mini candles as gifts as well i know that's really stupid <laughs> and carol said why don't you just send them the candle I don't like that scent. It was just, you know, it was a minimal amount of scents, fragrances, and I didn't like them. And they weren't holiday-ish. And I'm like, I want to make my own fragrance. I want to make a custom fragrance that I can send to people. I'm like, here, you know, have my secret, have my secret smell. Um, because I wanted to do that. And I even got the little round ones. You know how they have the, the large three-wick candles? They have them in the little ones so you can see right there. And I'm going to make a little custom label on all of these to put in there um, when I send them out um, or when I give them out. So that is what I'm hoping to do for Christmas. I'm trying to plan ahead because last year I did get behind on a lot of stuff. Um, so I can also, and if I'm sending racks and stuff like that, I can include these things in there. So I actually still have to order some fragrances. I figured I'd come on here and get any ideas if you guys have any um, ideas of where, you know, where you guys get oils or fragrances and stuff. And please don't tell me those, um, this is going to be mean. Please don't tell me, don't refer me to one of those places, one of those people that that sell from a catalog. Um, you know, that's not what I'm looking for. I don't need a little, I don't need a little, a little thing of oil that makes me happy and, you know, I can pour it in my tea and I can, you know, rub in my hands and I can, you know, s jump through the springtime rain with it. No, I need oils for like candle making. Um, <laughs> because I said that to somebody, they're like, oh, you know, my friend sells, I'm like, well, that, no, I, but thank you. I know those are pure oils and they're, and they're good. Um... But a little bottle like this for 20 bucks isn't going to help me for nothing. So, yeah. So, if you guys have any ideas, like I said, maybe you guys live in a nicer area like in uh, Midwest or the East Coast or whatever where they have, you know, something locally. Let me know. I'd be more than glad to look them up and um, see if they ship. Hey, everybody's going to ship, right? Um, so, I can try that because I would like to have a fragrance that I can make to give that to people. And I love these because we melt these things. We have them on all the time. So anyway, I've wasted your time long enough. We're at 19 minutes. Um, thank you for stopping by and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye everyone.